Hello everyone, this is Eric from All Train Unlimited and this is Project Iceberg and I'm going to be starting a project this weekend I've been thinking about for a while and a while back I had the Octane Blue HMF bumpers on here I love the blue um, unfortunately um, they don't have the corner protectors or anything like that available for them and I really wanted to add that extra protection and I'm, I'm glad that I did I went with the Can-Am bumpers um, added that corner protection and uh, the rear bumper also from Can-Am looks pretty good on there I, I, I like how it looks but I miss that blue color so this weekend's project is going to be taking these bumpers back off the machine and I'll be cleaning them up, degreasing them, sanding them down, and painting them. We're going to paint them blue. So stay tuned here, and we'll get started on the project, and uh, we'll take you through each step. Okay, so I've removed everything, removed the bumpers, front and rear um, of the machine, got those off, and I got them sitting off to the side right now. I was going to take these uprights off on the front, but there was a lot more involved uh, to get those out than I wanted to get into here today. Um, so I figured it probably wasn't going to be too difficult to tape everything off. Um, lay some plastic and and paint them on the machine so so far so good with that the paint's drying and i am prepping the uh the bumpers right now and one thing you want to do before you even start this project if you're going to do it try and do it yourself um as well is make sure you clean and scrub as much dirt and grime off as you can um Maybe use like a Dawn dish liquid, um, something that's going to cut the grease. Um, I also um, am using the Simple Green Extreme Power uh, Extreme Motorsports cleaner and degreaser, um, coating them down, letting it soak a little bit, wiping it down, and coat it again. And I, I think I got three three uh, cleanings on these so far, and I just want to make sure I get all of the mudslinger um, stuff that I've used. Um, so if you've used mudslinger, SC1, WD-40, anything like that that has an oil in it, you're gonna keep your uh, plastics shining and your everything look like new, you're gonna have to go through the process of degreasing it and getting all that off before you can paint. So I'm just about ready to start sanding and after that I'm gonna do another uh, clean and degrease and I think we'll be ready to paint these at that point so We will Get back to work here, and I'll show you the next steps Okay, so we've washed, degreased, sanded, washed, degreased, and painted uh, the front and rear bumpers for my uh, Can Am Maverick Trail. Um, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I'm glad to have the blue bumpers back, and uh, it looks it looks great. It matches the. Uh, Can-Am decals 
pretty darn close, I think. So here's the front bumper. And I got the badging riveted back on there. And we got the rear bumper all painted, mounted back on there. And I'll show you here the products that I used um, for the, well, first I washed it, um, scrubbed it down with a scrub brush, and then I used uh, the Simple Green Motorsports Cleaner and Degreaser, which seemed to work pretty well. I did a couple of coats with it, um, and it did get all of the mudslinger that I had on the, on the machine. Where I'm, on the bumpers mainly. I, I got that off and cleaned them up. And I used these um, sanding pads. I don't remember what grit they were. I think maybe like 220 or something like that. It's pretty fine, or like very fine sanding pads. And the paint that matches the Can-Am um, colors really well is this brilliant blue. And it's just a Rust-Oleum product paint and primer in one I did several light coats with that and I'm happy with how it turned out so if you want to take on the challenge give yourself a day or so <laughs> to, to clean prep and and then paint uh, it really turns out nicely so if you'd like um, to stay up to date on any other updates and additions to Project Iceberg Please like, follow, and share. I got links down below for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and also, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in.